Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching the first two episodes of Ahsoka, of Star Wars Ahsoka. And for those of you who are fans of Star Wars Rebels, you'll definitely get a kick out of this series, as it not only features several characters from Star Wars Rebels, but basically it acts as a live-action sequel to that series. The, the drawback is that, based on its first two episodes, it's taken a while to get to the main story at hand. But when it comes to the lightsaber duels, the atmosphere, and the writing of Star Wars Rebels, it definitely gets those down pretty well. But let's get to the story, shall we? The story revolves around these two Sith Lords, a master and an apprentice, who take over a Republic ship and manage to capture to manage to capture a prisoner that Ahsoka Tano had, who led Miss Tano, played by Rosario Dawson, to a map that is essentially leading to an important place to these Sith Lords. As, as the characters of Star Wars Rebels are basically being congratulated for their efforts at the end of that series, Sabine Wren, one of the characters from that series, sees that her training with Ahsoka Tano isn't over yet, and also that she, pro she probably should have had more that training completed, considering that when the map ultimately gets to her, it's taken by the by the apprentice of the two Sith Lords. So Ahsoka Tano and her friends have to work together to take down these Sith Lords in order to find, as well as a Night Sister from Dathomir who's leading them over to this certain place. All the while, they ha they have to deal with the New Republic th that's dealing with a bunch of people who were previously in the Empire who are supposedly reformed but who are more loyal to their paychecks more so than to any ideology that the Republic has. So yeah, it's, it seems like a pretty good setup for those who want a essentially a live-action Star Wars Rebels, just a story that takes place after the events of that series. And, as I've said in previous Star Wars shows, Rosario Dawson really does fulfill the role of Ahsoka Tano, especially an older, more experienced Ahsoka Tano in comparison to how she was in Clone Wars. On top of that, I think they got really good actors and actresses for a lot of the roles. Ray Stevenson plays the master of the Sith Lords, and he's generally pretty menacing in almost in almost all of his scenes. They got Mary Elizabeth Winstead for for one of for the uh, one of that Twi'lek, the one who's uh, who is also in Star Wars Rebels, and she does pretty well. She acts pretty much similar to how I, I remember the character from uh, Rebels. Uh, David Tennant plays Wu Yang, and I think he's also pretty great in almost every scene he's in. It's nice that we get to see new droid designs as well, or at least ones that are different from the protocol and astromech droids that I'm familiar with. On top of that, it feels like this show takes its time a bit more than a lot of other Star Wars shows. It doesn't feel unnecessarily rushed, and it doesn't feel like the scenes are dedicated to a side quest. It feels like it's focused on the story at hand and developing the characters that audiences have either come to love or have plenty of good reasons to care about. But it does feel like the, the pace is a bit too slow at times, where several scenes feel like they're just added in to catch people up on the stuff that happened in between the events of Rebels in this series. Like there's this whole ceremony that takes place that's honoring the, her the heroes, and it's the one where the audience is... Uh, introduced to Sabine Wren, but it feels like it goes on a bit longer than it should, even if it does have a cool uh, speed bike scene in it. As far as the lightsaber duels go, they're generally well handled, they've got good choreography and they feel suitably intense, but at the same time, it really feels like the story is not going as fast as some people would have hoped. But even when it came to great Star Wars shows like uh, Andor, that also took a lot of time to establish its characters and to really get into the atmosphere of the world that we're in. So I don't think this is a bad thing when it comes down to the fundamentals if the later episodes are able to build on what's been set up so far. And I think it has a good chance of doing that. So I'm going to see how this goes. Tuesday nights are generally good nights for me to do this anyways, so I'll see you next time.